Now that my video data has been imported via the source browser, I can change back to the bin window or go to the bin section of this window. As mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, the material that I will use in my project is collected and managed in the bin window, and I can now see my imported video data in the bin. The videos are no longer on my video camera, but have been imported onto my hard drive and into my project directory. I can check this by selecting a clip and up here choosing the Properties button. The window opens and displays detailed information that we won't go into right now, but the information I need is here under File Info, and there I can see the path, and I can also see that the data is not on my camera, but on my computer's hard drive in the pre-designated project folder. This means that I am sure I can remove my camera from the computer. If we look at the bin window in more detail, we can see a scroll bar on the right hand side. And with this, I can scroll through the overview of my imported clips. It would be better if we could use this lower area that for the minute is used for some quick infos for a clearer overview. And I can do this by clicking and dragging with my mouse. By doing this, I could change it at any moment, but for now, I would rather have the extra space. And so I will just move the window right down out of the way. If you have imported all the data needed for a project, for example a holiday video, then the overview of such a large quantity of data can quickly become confused when they are all located in one folder. To avoid this confusion, it can often be useful to create subfolders to bring some structure to the folder. For the minute, there is a single folder, the root folder, and in this root folder, I would like to add a new folder by right mouse clicking here and selecting New Folder. Here, I will make one called Water. And again, from the root folder, right mouse click New Folder, I will create another called Airport. If I go back to the root folder, I can now move specific clips into targeted folders to create a clear overview and avoid confusion. I will do this for multiple clips right now. You can, of course, use various methods for selecting multiple clips, as we have already seen in the Import into Source Browser section. I'll press the Shift key and select the last clip and move the selected clips into the Airport folder. Click here for the next video. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. You can find more tips and tricks in our EDIUS podcast. And this playlist contains the complete EDIUS tutorial.